I'm Hazel, and today I'm going to be walking you through exactly how to get Jennifer, this adorable fluffy cat pet who may be more than meets the eye. The Jennifer secret was recently solved after almost a year. This is doable on either faction, and you'll want to be at least level 110 to get into Legion Karazhan, but preferably 120 so that you're comfy in there. Post level squish, levels 50 and up should be fine. To get started, for step one, we're going to go see Amara Lunastar, located here in Ashenvale at coordinate 17, 50. She is outside the house standing under the little glowy gazebo thing. Talk to her, click her dialogue option, and we are done here. Next, we have an optional step in Elwyn Forest. It's not technically needed at this time, but it's on our way, and just in case they hot fix it down the road so it's needed later, uh, stop in at Donnie and Thania's house at 44, 53 coordinates in Elwyn, and you can click this cat dish here in the corner for our next clue. Next, it is time to head to Legion Karazhan. The dungeon difficulty is not relevant for this, so if you are lower geared, you might want to turn it down to heroic. The entrance is up here on this little bridge thing. If you are going in any other door, you're going into the wrong instance. We want Legion Karazhan entrance right here. Once inside, we want to clear up to Opera. If you've never done that, no worries, follow me. We're going to head right once we're in the door, and then right at this hallway, head down the ramp, Curve around to the left all the way to the opera stage, and you can talk to this NPC here to spawn the opera boss. This fight can be a little buggy when you overpower it, so kill these bosses slowly to avoid bugging them out. Next, it is time to clear some working room by clearing out some trash. We're going to want to clear the Maiden of Virtue hallway, the last room on the left in front of Maiden, the opera audience floor, and the morose area, as well as the connecting hallway stair ramp situation. Clearing more trash doesn't hurt. There is nothing that you need to be careful of or leave alive here, so just kind of make some room. As long as the areas I've highlighted on these maps here are clear, you are good to go. So now the gist of what we're trying to accomplish here is we are picking up a very specific shopping list of food from around the instance and then placing it in a specific pattern on the opera audience floor. You can find these pieces of food everywhere. You can loot them and they go to your bags. Once in your bags, they have a five minute duration. You can right click one of these pieces of food. It'll give you a little targeting reticle to allow you to place it on the floor. And once you put it on the floor, it will last for five further minutes. So there is kind of a time frame that we're working with here. So don't pick up anything yet. What we're going to need is two fish bits, two steaks, two drumsticks, one slathered rib, and one meaty morsel. You will notice lots of other food around Karazhan, including breads and alcohols and fruit items. All of those are useless. Jennifer has no need for berries. She eats flesh and only flesh. So the name of the game is to find the food that you need, make your way to the opera hall floor, slap it down in this very specific pattern on these very specific tiles before your food starts timing out and disappearing from your bags. Uh, this is not too tough to do, but you do want to be careful because if you mess it up, you might need to reset the instance and start over. The official wowhead guide for Jennifer, linked below, suggested a route that worked really great for me, so we're going to do that one here. We're going to start in the Moreau's room, and when you're ready to go, we're going to pick up the bits here, a drumstick here, and the slathered ribs from the table. Then we head back up the center hallway and you're gonna find a marbled steak on the carpet here. Keep going to Maiden's hallway and you'll have a meaty morsel on your right, more fish bits just after this second door here on your left, and then we go into the last room on the left. In the first little antechamber, there is a steak behind this chair on the left. In the next antechamber, we've got a drumstick front right. That is all of the food that we need, so at this point we're gonna head back to the opera audience floor. Go ahead and stand in front of the stage right by this crystal and turn your camera out as though you're looking into the audience. This here is the pattern that we're going for. I found the easiest way to do this was to carefully find the starting point on the bottom left, which is this square here. It's got the right edge of the bottom leftmost bench in it, and we're going to put our first drumstick down there. Working diagonally up and to the right, we're going to put down a steak, fish bits, morsel, and then the second steak. We're going to move up a little bit as shown, and the squares matter here, so be careful, and we're going to lay the rib here, the drumstick here, and the fish bits here. Pay attention as you do this, because once you lay down a food, it's down and you can't move it. If you mess up, it's not the end of the world. You can leave and reset the instance to start over. Executing this is not hard, but the ticking timer on the food can make you panic, so if you're nervous about it, just go look around the opera floor and kind of visualize your plan before you start picking up food. Once all of your food is down in the right squares, Jennifer meows and spawns in the room. You can type out a quick slash tar gen to find her and then go click on her to get your pet. 
congrats! This is what her stats are going to look like when she's leveled up to 25. She has an interesting moveset. Jennifer also has some fun effects just as a companion pet. She'll emote purr and meow quite often and will occasionally whisper you more sinister things. She'll also occasionally turn void and gain a pair of void tentacles like horns, but that seems fine, we're not worried about it. Like any cat pet, if you target her and type slash sit, she can jump into your lap. This is the best and I recommend it. And that's it! Credit to Amara for conceiving and helping create the secret with her Make-A-Wish, kudos to the WoW secret finding community for their work on it over the past year, and to Polly Tark for the final solve. If you want to read more about the puzzle and why this execution solves it, Paul wrote up a great Google Doc explaining the whole thing. It is bananas. Amara also started a GoFundMe raising money for fibrolamellar research via the labs at the Rockefeller University. Fibrolamellar hepatocellular carcinoma is an underfunded and understudied form of cancer, and this money could make a big difference for young people like Amara. I'll link that fundraiser down below, along with further reading for anyone curious. Thank you so much for watching, have fun getting your Jennifer, and have a wonderful, wonderful day!